This is the road that goes into South Bisbee. This was an old boarding house. This is the hippie mansion. And they've already taken their porch down because they're moving their house themselves. Are they leveling the house? Is that they are right? leveling them immediately as soon as the people move out. And this, we're going to this house up here, this the is Heidi's house. Yeah. And her name's Heida. And she is the one person who The one holdout. The one holdout. The one right. holdout. I love stuff. Earlier they were calling her the hero of South Bisbee. I believe it was Haida's holding out that got the extra money and the extra time for the residents. The tragedy here is that my lifestyle that I cultivated for many, many years and uh, enjoy, and the freedom that I enjoy, uh, is being taken away from me. And that's why I'm standing up. You know, I said, you just can't do that. So it is, uh, for me, very heartbreaking. But anyway, come on in. Yeah. Yeah. We would actually brought you down to Bisbee this time. Well, I think this this was the main issue, is the pollution going on with Freeport locally. I mean, we've been involved in fighting Freeport through, really through protesting ALEC, the American Legislative Exchange Council. Okay. Which we tend to see as putting the legislators and the corporations together to pass a lot of these laws. Like, there's a lot of laws that have made it a crime to be a whistleblower for environmental things. I mean, a lot of states that have done that, where it's kind of like it's a copycat law. Uh -huh. Which is what we tend to see from Alec is like this law gets introduced in all 50 states or in 20 states or 30 states, wherever they've got enough legislators to kind of get it through, ram it through, and mm -hmm. those are the people that go to the Alec meetings, tend to be Alec members, tend to oh. all get together and pass oh. these laws like yeah. SB 1070 that sort of fills up the prisons or these things that make money for the polluting corporations and protect them so they can stay making money. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. so Freeport was just actually something that had their national headquarters in Phoenix and the IWW was already interested in. And oh, yeah. the, through the IWW end, I knew of like the, the Bisbee deportation <laughs> and of like Phelps Dodge back in 1916, but I didn't really connect it to anything now. You know? yeah. So, I mean, I knew yeah, we saw some, uh, we saw a lot of Allison's videos and then so we knew that there was something going wrong in Bisbee, or like there was some, like, people's houses were being kind of, people were being forced out of their houses. Um, and then, yeah, we've just been doing a lot of work with different people that um, kind of protest Freeport. Uh -huh. um, and s stand with the workers uh, who, you know, have been, like, used. And then also just... Um, to, to really try to build like real real solidarity between people in Phoenix that care about this with people in uh, Tucson, with Bisbee, and uh, you know, everywhere in between. Okay. So really just to just come and listen and talk. Mm -hmm. and, and just you wanted to see it for yourself, yeah. what's going on, rather than just watching the video. Yeah. You know, uh, it's really taxing to fight Freeport and negotiate with them. They're very... Uh, Cold. It's all about money. I mean, they can't get they can't get it after all my communications. That it's it's uh, you know about the environment and it's about um, what's best for everybody. I pray for what's best for everybody, myself included. And uh, they expect me to <laughs> not include myself in my own prayer. You know, so they don't get that, and they just can't get it. They all they think you know. Uh, Although you try to negotiate for more money, uh, we're not willing to. Yeah, they think everybody's motivated like they are. Yeah, that's yeah. the problem. You know, they think everybody's greedy and because they're, they're greedy. Uh, if I find a place for fifteen thousand dollars somewhere, I'll go there. I don't mm -hmm. care how much the place costs or how little it costs. 
it's my way of life that I want. Yeah. You know. So, I mean, I have like a thousand questions, but why <laughs> have you chosen to fight? Why, I guess that's like the, probably the biggest question is why have you chosen to, to um, kind of resist? To no, not sign the contract? Because it was just wrong and uh, in my conscience. And uh, I felt, you know, just something. I, I, I gave it, I, I told my Broski, the manager here, that people signed out of fear. And he said, no, that's not true. They signed because they thought it was right. But if you talk to the people here, they signed out of fear. They, they have families, they have, uh, uh, you know, considerations that if they didn't sign, they would lose everything. Yeah. And not, you know, people aren't willing to do that. And they have to sign know. a medical waiver, right? So they can't right. sue free for if anything, they can't deal I've, with any medical damages that come from this later. Right, that was another clause in there why I didn't sign because, and I got some headway with that. Now I notice you got a breathing apparatus over there. You have uh, respiratory distress from yes. this. Yes, I don't know if I have it from this or where it came from, but I mean, I think it's more. Um, I was surprised to learn about it. I was hospitalized recently, and uh, and I got that in the hospital because I wasn't breathing right, so they put me on oxygen. And, yeah, I'm uh, familiar with them. That's why I yeah. I recognize yeah, it. Yeah, so I have to strengthen my lungs. My lungs are not doing too well. Okay. I asked them to put a statement in there saying that with notwithstanding the uh, uh, illness due to uh, operation of mining and restoration and reclamation, and I used all the term, and I said, you can, uh, <coughs> i like you to <coughs> erase this clause and replace it with the, uh, my clause. And uh, then they said, oh yeah, and as you requested, we're erasing this clause, but they never replaced it with my clause. When I sign, it's going to be done. I'm going to be out of here in a very short time. And I will have another place. That's when I will sign. And uh, that, that clause about the health issues will be in there. Uh, that's when I will sign. And if not, like I said, they when they have to. My neighbors said, they're going to bulldoze your house. If you don't sign, and I said, well, we'll see, you know. And yeah. I told them I'll be in it. But <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you call someone to film that.